Well, tomorrow is the first day of school in Cherokee County and district leaders say about 78% of the students have opted to return to the classroom for in person learning. As Mara Siriani explains, the district issued guidelines for a safe return, but some parents still fear safe pandemic protocols can't be enforced. First day of school jitters are common, but this time around the coronavirus is adding a level of uncertainty for some families in Cherokee County. Photos from a new student meet and greet at Freedom Middle School show little to no social distancing. You get 50% that's like, ah, no big deal, it's just the flu, and then you get the other 50% that's like, we're literally going into almost a hospital environment, but with no PPE. According to the district's website, masks and face coverings are required for staff and strongly recommended for students. This has one parent concerned. Think about a kindergarten. I mean, the kids are going to have runny noses, the kids are going to cough, the kids are going to sneeze. All those things that require a teacher to be in very close proximity to those kids. In an email sent to staff, CCSD Superintendent Dr. Brian Hightower says reopening our schools and serving our students through two instructional models is the greatest challenge any of us have faced. He adds, for those of you who are unhappy with various facets of our reopening plan, I ask you to reflect on the best direction for you in your role with the district. These are things that, you know, in a, in a corporate environment would never fly. That's why so many people are working remote. You realize that because they can't guarantee the safety of their people. But yet in school, we're just going to throw up every, everything at it, throw all these kids in the classroom and hope for the best. And on the night before the big day, CCSD leaders confirmed there are just nine active reported staff cases in the district. And out of the district's 42,500 students, just 9,500 opted to learn digitally from home.